All right, we're back in the spray booth today, and we're going to be painting up this uh, 7.1 inch Big Belly Chad. It's uh, Lure Blank, and uh, this one I actually got from Lure Build. Lure Build uh, sells blanks and, and lures and different things. I'll put a link in the description below. And typically, when I paint these lures, I always start with a base coat, a total base coat of white primer or black primer, and then build the colors over that. But I want to go for more of a translucent look this time. And so this is, I think, the same kind of a lure. And you can, they have not painted the bottom. So you can see right through it. You can see all the, the weights in it. And even where they do paint the colors, they're very light. And you can, you can see through them and as it's in the water, the, the sunlight coming down makes it uh, the whole thing kind of translucent, which is maybe a little bit more natural. We'll see. But I'm going to go with a different color pattern than that, that example that I showed you on the paper. I'm actually going to do a little bit of the white on the bottom, but again, very light. So we'll mix up the paint and we'll go from there. Now, we're gonna, not going to need a lot of any of these colors because we're going to be spraying them real light. And I'm starting starting out with this folk art pearl white. It it gives a just a nice reflective, and again, got to got to thin it because it's it's thick. And when I came out to use my spray gun the last time, it was all it it, it clogged up. I, I tried shooting a, a heavier metallic through it, and man, it instantly clogged up. And this is the, uh, I thought this gun had a 0.5 millimeter tip, but it actually has a 0.3. So it's a lot smaller, and I, I guess that metal flake clogged it all up because it, it didn't want to spray. It took me a good while to get it clean, and so hopefully, hopefully, it's going to spray for me today. Again, super, we're going to go really light on this. Really, maybe just more for a reflection on the bottom instead of an actual color. I want, I want to be able to see through it. I can hear my compressor make a noise. It's vibrating around. It's in my chair now. It won't stay, won't stay put. Just a real light coat on there. Very light. to see. I think that's going to do it for the bottom. Hard to see what I've done because it's so thin. I think I'm going to add a little bit to the face. Face and gill, maybe. You can see that shine a little bit.
still see through it, but a uh, little, little bit of whitish on it, pearl white. Now I think on the, the body of this bait, we're going to have a few different colors. I want to start with a real light yellow about mid-body, then maybe a little bit fading into a green, and then kind of a purplish on the top. This is the uh, Shuttle Art, get it off Amazon, color change, yellow flash. And uh, we'll see just how much of a yellow flash it really does. Again, it's going to be nice and thin. And actually, I, I haven't used this color before, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've already got some thinner in the cup, so we'll add a few drops of the yellow flash. I'm going to stay behind, try to stay behind the gill plate and just go real light in the middle of the body. I, just learning here, I have a problem. When I think it looks right to me, it's it's usually a little too much. So I'm going to try to stay real light on these coats. That's probably enough, but you know me, I'm going to ruin it if I can. A little bit more. I'll probably come back and do a little detail on the fin there before we finish. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. For our next level up, we're going to just go with this green flash color change. We'll see how that does. That green really looks good in the cup, so we'll see how it looks on the bait. You can kind of see the subtle change. Come down a little bit lower. Yellow, yellow on the bottom green because I want to leave some room for that purplish hue on the top. I don't know. I think that's just about, maybe about the right amount. We'll see. So what I think I'm going to do for the top, I don't have a big variety of purples. So I'm just going to do this metallic purple, real light, and then I might shoot over it um, a dragonfly glaze, which has a really nice color shift property, a little, little more... Uh, metallic. We're experimenting, so let's see what goes.
not too bad for a start. Better stop right there. What I think is enough is usually too much. going to stop there for now. Across the top of the back, around the eyes, maybe a little on the fin. Got this black flash. Actually looks like it's got a little copper mixed in with it, so it might be more of a sepia color. Let's try it. May have thinned that out a little too much. Pretty thin. A little runny. We'll go lighter if we can. It doesn't matter where the eye goes. The eye will cover it up, but around it. I don't know. It's a little... dark on the nose. Hope I'm keeping it in the camera. Sorry if I'm not. Yeah, it's spattering a little on me. I thinned it out plenty, but I'm going to stop there on that. That's plenty, just a little dark ridge. Try something here, take this nozzle off. I've never done this before. They say you can get much finer detail lines. I'm wanting to hit this side fin just very lightly, kind of outline it. Doesn't fall over on me. the thinnest of outlines on that fin. Not much more than that. I 
Yep. We're going to stop there. The hair on the bottom edge. Stop right there. That's it for me. That is it. Got enough on the top. One or two dark, and I almost forgot. I, I want to put a, a, a kill dot, a kill spot on this, so I'm just using straight black airbrush paint, unthinned. See what it does. Under right behind this gill plate area. Come back and darken that up. Let it dry a little bit. I'm going to leave that right there. go with that. Some guys like them perfectly round. I don't think it matters. I don't know that they're exactly round in nature. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty p pleased with the black to purple to green to yellow it, it, it's very faint but that that's what I want I want this thing to be translucent but I do think I'm going to put a glaze over the top question is which one I think I'm going to go with this one because it's supposed to be a red violet blue and I, the more these other two have more green in them gold and I want to kind of keep that that violet color up on the top so see how it goes. It's odd even though it says violet, red, blue. As you mix it up it's it's white. But I guess it's those little flakes in there that are going to do the uh, color shifting. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty decent. Yeah when you when you put it on the towel you really see those flakes come out. Takes a little more pressure to push these flakes through the gun. I'm gonna keep it up on the top, not not too much on the side. It doesn't really change the color. It's just supposed to add that effect to it. Bump up my pressure a little bit. See if that pulls it through the gun a little better, pushes it through there.
Yep, we're going to stop there. I'll try a hair on the bottom where we've got that pearl white, just a little, see what it does. I've never done it over the white. It may not show up at all. Or it might. On empty. So for the painting, I think we're pretty much finished there. Uh, we're going to get a clear coat at the end of it, and I'm going to put some eyes on it. And these are large eyes, the the, the lar larger than any I've done before, and I don't have eyes that size, so I'm I'm actually making my own eyes. And uh, they're, they're going to be kind of that bright copper color. And they're still a little cloudy. It, it, uh, the clear hasn't finished hardening yet. But once, once those dry out, we'll get the eyes on, we'll get the clear coat on, we'll finish up the video. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you haven't yet, I wish that you'd take a, just a minute and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Adventures with Bill. That way you'll know anytime we're putting up a new video. It doesn't cost anything. It's free, but it helps my channel. So again, I hope you're enjoying learning how to do this along with me because I'm just starting here. Well, we're back now getting ready to put on the eyes and I'm sure you noticed that our shad looks a little different from when I left off. Um, off camera, I decided to paint a little red under the... Uh, under the chin area. And then when I thought about it, I've been wanting to try one of these bleeding shad patterns. Uh, so some red red paint and it uh, looks like a little bit of a blood trail. I don't know how realistic it is, but a lot of guys say that the bass will really key in on that, thinking that the, you know the shad is injured. It's gonna be an easy target. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see how that works. I thought we'd put the put the eyes on, and uh, I don't know how that's going to work either. Because, uh, like I said, I just I just made these eyes myself. It's the first time. Again, here's these eyes I made. We'll, we'll see if they're going to work. Supposed to have adhesive backing. Yeah, that, that's no good. It's morning and my fingers aren't working too good. And I could have made the eye even bigger. Nice fingerprint in the eye. I, I think that's pretty cool looking. Unusual color. These helping hands do help, but on lure this big can be unbalanced. I want to fall over. A little bit of super glue. I'm messing everything up today. Should have just stayed in bed. Yeah, I'm picking up again this morning where I left off last night. Came in after I had done the red. Discovered I had left the red paint in my spray gun overnight. And I thought, oh man, what a mess. I'll never get it cleaned out. Well... Fortunately, it, it cleaned out not too bad. Well, this eye, again, these are my first time making these. This eye looks like it's got a couple little air bubbles. And uh, But hopefully, we put the uh, KBS clear over the whole thing. It'll, it'll fill those in. So that's the eyes. That's a little bit of the red blood trail. We're going to uh, turn the camera off, put the clear coat on, We'll be back to see the finished product. If you wouldn't mind, if you would uh, like this video, hit the little click the like button and hit the subscribe button. That way you'll know next time my video comes out. 
and I hope you enjoy these. We'll be back in just a minute. Here it is, the final product. It's got a coat of the uh, KBS gloss, diamond clear. It's not epoxy, but it's almost as tough. I hope you can see the different shades. The eye, I think, came out pretty nice. That orange with the black, the purple top, yellowish green yellow, and it's still translucent. A little bit of white on the bottom, along with the, the blood, the blood trail. And the, the lower gill there painted, or the lower fin painted. The kill spot, and uh, nice, nice shade of purple on the top, kind of color shifting. So I hope you guys like this and look forward to, to making the next one. Have a great day. God bless you.